welcome back to the channel viewers and subscribers it's our boy here kirk today we are going to remove and replace the ac compressor on this 2017 nissan x-trail if it's your first time on this channel please subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a new video you can also follow us on instagram tiktok and like us on facebook the first thing we're going to do guys is to remove the bumper so we can have full access to the ac condenser further in the video guys we are going to show you why we are replacing the AC compressor we are removing the bumper clips and screw left and right side we're under the vehicle guys and we're also going to pull the clips and bolts that hold the guard and the bumper together Finally, we removed the bumper, so we are plugging off the fog lamp connector. So guys, we are going to show you the AC condenser. And this is the condenser located right in front of the radiator. So we are checking now to see if this condenser use a receiver dryer and unfortunate this one don't use it for some reason um especially with the nixon x trail about oh 12 to 2017 don't use um receiver dryer so we are going to clean the condenser on the vehicle so in the meanwhile we are going to replace the compressor so guys this is the old compressor on the vehicle that we are going to remove so we removed the old compressor and this is it this is the reason guys we remove this compressor as you notice the clutch not turning but the pull is spinning free that's a sign that the compressor is jammed so inside of the compressor the internal part is collapsed and this is a clutch and solenoid compressor we are going to show you an illustration guys i'm going to use this compressor as an illustration As you notice guys the clutch turning free on both side also the pulley wheel 
so guys if the clutch not turning and the pulley turning that's a sign that something is wrong with the compressor also if the clutch turning free and the pulley not turning free that's also a sign that something is wrong with the compressor and this is the brand new compressor guys that we're going to install on the vehicle before we install we're going to add some oil to the compressor new ac compressor fit on the engine easy to bolt up and we also reinstall the serpentine belt and guys the belt is very easy to fit this is the adjuster just put a 14 spanner over it and adjust it very easy so i'm moving the adjuster with the belt we are flushing out the system now guys removing the pipe from the expansion valve this is the low side pipe that connect to the compressor and also remove the two pipes that connect to the condenser so we're adding some flush to the system we are just making sure that the system is clean before we pressure test vacuum and recharge the system so guys we fit up back everything together and pressure test vacuum and now we are recharging the system as you see guys uh, AC pipe sweating a lot of water that is a good sign that the AC is working properly if this video help you guys let us know in the comment section and remember to like and share this video so guys right now I'm going to check inside the vehicle and the AC is blowing cold. Another successful job from Kirk School Year Auto. Guys, please like and share this video. And if you're new on the channel, do the right thing and subscribe.